I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test questions on inverse functions. The question here is consider the function f of x equals to 3 over x minus 5 plus 2. Write domain and range of the function. Find inverse of the function. Write domain and range of inverse of the function. Right. So these are three parts. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let's consider this function f of x equals to 3 over x minus 5 plus 2, right? Uh, let me sketch this quickly. It's not a difficult question to work with. So reciprocal function shifted 5 units to the right. So it will have this vertical asymptote at 5, right? So let us see this is at 5. And then plus 2 means 1 over x is moved 2 units up. So approximately we can say this is my y equals to 2. So what we have here is 2 and this is 5, right? The vertical and horizontal asymptotes. If I write 0 here for x, so what do I get? If I write 0 here, I get a positive value or negative. This is what you have to figure out. So it is minus 3 over 5, which is less than 2. So it is a positive value. So that means 0 is at 0 there is some some value here slightly less than 2 so that is my intercept is that okay so based on just one value I could sketch my graph the graph of this function will be kind of like this is it okay you could also substitute large value if I write x as a large value then I will see that this function approaches 2, right? Now, so that becomes the function. So it's very easy from this type of a graph or by transformations to write down domain and range for this function. So let me write down domain and range of the function now. So domain is x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to the vertical asymptote, which is 5. As far as the range is concerned, the y values, y belongs to real numbers and y will never approach 2, I will not be at 2. It will always just approach when at infinity. That's the horizontal asymptote. y is not equal to 2. So that becomes the domain and range of this particular function. Okay, let's move on to find the inverse of the function. Now it's very tricky how to find inverse of rational functions given like this. To find inverse, we have to swap x and y, right? So we'll, let's see how to find inverse. So first step is we have to swap x and y, right? And then solve for y. So let me write this equation as y equals to 3 over x minus 5 plus 2. So I replaced f of x as y. Now we'll swap. So we have x equals to 3 over y minus 5 plus 2. We need to now isolate y. That's the whole thing, right? To isolate y, we should multiply by this, this term, right? All these terms. So, so what we get here is x times, or what you can do is you do x minus 2 and then bring it down. You can do that also, right? So let's do that part. Uh, so we'll, let's do that. So we'll, we'll do it different way. So we'll do x minus 2 equals to 3 over y minus 5. Let's do like this. Now we'll cross multiply. See how we are going to isolate y. So we'll cross multiply. This is a good technique. So we get y minus 5 equals to 3 over x minus 2. And we can add 5 now. So we get y equals to 3 over x minus 2 plus 5. Do you see that? So in a way, we have isolated y without even multiplying any term. Do you see that part? So from here, we can write down what the inverse of this function is, right? So the inverse of this function is, we can say f inverse of x is equals to 3 over x minus 2 plus 5. And now we'll do part c, which is writing domain and range. So the domain of this function is that x belongs to real numbers and x is not equal to 2. As far as the range is concerned, 
ranges y belongs to real numbers and y is not equal to 5. Now, do you see a correlation between these two? Always, when you find inverse of the functions, you will see that their domain and range swaps. Do you see that? So the domain of the function becomes kind of range for the inverse and range of the function becomes the domain. So that means it's absolutely correct. I hope you understand in this and appreciate the method. So remember, for finding the inverse, that is the kind of algebra you need to do. A rearrangement of this equation, it helps to quickly get the inverse. I'm Anil Kumar and if you appreciate it, you can like it. Also, feel free to share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.